Ashley, the Wayward Stitcher. And it's been about two weeks since I've seen you last. And I had about 20 or so minutes to film a video before my family gets home. So I thought I would pop on and show you guys what I've been up to in the last two weeks. I pretty much ran myself short on time today doing chores and um, admittedly watching The Crown. I just started watching that on Netflix. I heard it was good. Um, and of course, Matt Smith, Mr. 11th Doctor is in that. So um, yeah, and plus, you know, a little bit of history about Queen Elizabeth and stuff. So I figured why not. Uh, so that's literally what I was doing before I decided that I was running myself too short on time and I needed to get this done. <laughs> so I will be busy the rest of this week. So I didn't really have time to film or I don't think I'll have time to film. So I thought I would sit down now and just show you guys what I've been up to. So I have four projects to show you today, a small amount of haul and a couple of shout outs to do, and then I'll be out of here. So this video is going to be quite short, maybe a little rushed, but that's just because I need to get this done and I kind of want to have myself still on my kind of two week time frame of when I upload my videos. So as mentioned in my previous video, I have been working on my two new WIPCO goals, which is my Aphrodite Mermaid by Mirabilia and my Nightmare Before Christmas stitch along by story stitches those were my two projects that were picked for this month and um as we only have about 10 days left in the month i figured i really needed to like get the gears going with that and get that finished so those are going to be my focus pieces now for the rest of the month but uh yeah so i guess i'll show those first and then i'll show the other whips that i was working on kind of in between so the first whip that I've been working on is my Mirabilia Aphrodite Mermaid. And I literally have only put about 20 minutes or so stitching in since last time you guys saw her. And my goal for her for this month is to do five hours. I do have every single minute of stitching on her recorded. So I think I'm actually more like at about an hour and 40 minutes stitched so far with another, I guess, two and a half to go, right? Yeah. So two and a half, no, three and a half. Yeah, three and a half. I can math. But uh, yeah, this is currently where I am with her. So you might not really be able to see too well, but I did start stitching on her skin, which I have decided not to do one over one, just simply because of the fact that um, She's just got so much skin that I just do not think that I can be bothered to take the time to do all of that one over one. But she's coming along really well and I still love the fabric. So she'll stay on the Q-snap tonight and I'll work on her for a little while longer and then perhaps maybe get some stitching done on her tomorrow. Tomorrow's family day for us here in Canada so I'll put some time into her tomorrow, maybe even over the five hours, who really knows. If I can put more time into her than the five hours, that's actually fabulous because, you know, the, um, the goal is to just do five. But if I can do more than that, perfect. And it's funny because I've seen a few other people be stitching on her lately. So it just kind of like really amped up my desire to work on her, despite the fact that she was already kind of a whip goal goal for myself for this month. And then the other piece that I worked on, of course, is my Nightmare Before Christmas story by story stitches. And um, just to state that the fabric that my Mirabilia on again is on a fabric that I'm not really sure what count or color or company is, it is. So I can't really give you that information for that. But for my next project, I can tell you that information. So this is my um, Nightmare Before Christmas stitch along. And I finished Sally. And Beryl is still not <laughs> finished yet, but that's okay. I finished Sally, did all the brick stitching. And yeah, so that's that. And this is being stitched on a, uh, 
I should have it memorized by now. A 28 count Lugana in Meyer from a picture this plus, which is just beautiful. This is pretty true to life for coloring. You guys are seeing this. Um, so again, just a reminder that the goal for this piece is to finish five squares. I've almost finished two, so that would leave me about three to go, which I've decided are going to be um, what, let me see if I can do this. Um, there's Barrel, Lock and Shock go here as well, and then Mummy Boy actually fits in underneath Jack. So I will do those squares. Mummy Boy shouldn't really take too long. He's literally like two colors and then some back stitching. So he'll whip up real quick. And that's that one. So very excited to have had a square finish on that in the last two weeks. I'll be honest though, like when I do do my stitching, I'm not focusing on my whip go goals, which is really bad of me, but I can't help it. <laughs> I'm addicted to other things at the moment. Um, oh, my eye. Anyway, my next whip is going to be my Heaven and Earth Designs Quick Stitch Realm of Enchantment by Ann Stokes. And just to give you an idea, Pardon the glare, that's what she looks like. And she's stitching up really nicely. I, I'm really happy with her. Now I've put her on a much larger Q snap. I've put her on my 11 by 17 Q snap, um, just so that I have a larger stitching area and then I won't have to move her very much for the next little while, hopefully. She'll be staying where she is, but this is currently where I'm at with her. So a lot more stitching in her face. Her ear is starting to show up. I started working on the stitching in her wing. The drake is obviously coming in. At least I think that's a drake. Um, what looks like a dragon but is much smaller I, I think is a drake. I could be wrong on that but anyway so I've, I put a lot of work into her hair. I just this afternoon or just this morning I was putting in some of this really palely pale purple. Uh, one of the new DMC colors. Um, that's 27 I think and I've been stitching that there is a fair amount of it that goes down here and then works into um, her shirt and stuff so I'm really happy with my progress on this I've I couldn't tell you how many stitches I've done in the last little while with her I have not taken the time to calculate nor have I taken the time to calculate and add up where my stitches are at for the stitches um, the Across the coast of Australian stitches. I've been really behind on that. I've been terrible at keeping track. Um, yeah, as I stated before, my mental health was kind of taking a kicking and so I was having a lot of issues with my leg, which have now um, been solved. I went to the doctor and got some um, extra strength muscle relaxants and my leg seems to be totally fine now. So that's that. And then my last whip for you guys is my Blue Jays by Riolis, which I said I probably wasn't going to work on for a while, but you know what? I um, just randomly picked it up the one afternoon because I was like, why not just throw a few stitches in it? And then I got hooked on it and I couldn't put it down. So <laughs> here we are with the Blue Jays. And I was working on it yesterday for most of the day because my boyfriend wasn't feeling well and he stayed home from work. And so I pretty much just stayed up and um, stitched on this while watching a little bit of um, stitching stuff on Twitch. Um, but this is where my Blue Jays are at now. Which, as you can see, this one Blue Jay is now starting to get his face. He has his eye in his beak. Um, and it's stitching up really nicely, really quickly, and I'm absolutely loving it. I absolutely just adore this piece. I had had one boo-boo where I had put one color in and it was totally the wrong color and I had to pull it out. But thankfully, I think it's going to be one of those colors that there's going to be plenty of. So I won't have to worry about having wasted a little bit. But thanks to Calico and Cat Talks, I'm very aware to watch out for, I think it's the color number nine that they both ran short on. Uh, so I'm going to be trying to be very, very... Um, Oh, 
I'm not going to be as generous with my stitching with that. I'm going to be very reserved with my thread for stitching those colors. And I try, when I do my stitching, at least with this project, because it's a kit and I don't want to run out of floss, I try to cut my lengths to the amount that I think I'm actually going to need for that amount of stitches. And I don't just pull out a whole, you know, length of my arm lengths of thread just to do that. Like I go, okay, well, this is only like three stitches. I probably only need a length like this that folds over and I can do the three stitches. Like I try, I'm trying to be very reserved and careful with my stitching and my thread. So hopefully I don't run into that same problem, but I think Calico had kind of worked around um, a substitute for the thread if it does if it does run out. So hopefully if all else fails and I run out of thread, I'll have a substitute. So that's great. So yeah, I'm really loving that. Um, so as I said before, this is a whip go goal for the future to be finished this year. So I'm not too concerned about throwing in some extra stitches here and there um, to get myself closer to being able to finish that goal when it gets called. So that's that. And then I do have a little bit of haul, which is really, really exciting for me. I know I stated that I wasn't going to be purchasing anything else this year, but this is an exception. I had to. I was at the thrift store and I was just browsing the books. And I, you know, if you've been on Instagram, you already know I've got this, but um, it's in a little rough shape, but it's okay um, as I rip it more. Um, I've been after this book for a very long time. I know a lot of you stitchers might already have this book and um yeah but here i literally when i got when i found this book in the store i was jumping up and down i was so excited with a bad knee mind you my knee was in horrible pain already and i was like jumping up and down and made it worse <laughs> so you yep 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 i finally have my own copy and i'm i oh my gosh i can't even joan elliott alone is just an amazing designer her geishas are on a whole other level and if we want to talk about geishas how about that springtime geisha that just got released oh my god um that will be haul later in another video because i will have it in my possession i did not buy it my boyfriend's daughter saw it knew i wanted it and she bought it for me as an early mother's day gift so that will be coming in the mail sometime not sure when but it will be coming so um yeah, and if any of you don't know what's in the book and you want to see like a flip through or something, I'm more than welcome to put a video of that up on my channel for you guys. If not, totally cool. I'm sure so many of you have that book. Um, and then I got this little baggie. It was of like Jane Peacoat's floss, which I absolutely hate, will not use it. Um, and then some just random embroidery floss from like, you know, those generic things you can buy at like Walmart. That's just for like making friendship bracelets and stuff. That was in there but also this little gem was tucked away in that bag as well um and it's called autumn harvest pin number eight and it's called bewitched and it's cute little and the whole kit is there the the little moon gem and everything the thread the it's the whole kit and then this little wizard's snowell snowman by janelin was also in there I don't have any intention of stitching this, but maybe I can give it away to somebody. Um, these two things were in that bag of floss for like six bucks. So just for these two things alone, I think that's very worth it. And maybe, I mean, maybe the JMP Coats thread might come in handy for something. I just don't know yet. Um, or if, you know, there's anybody out there that actually uses the JMP Coats floss that might want it, let me know. And maybe I can just like ship it off to you because... I have no use for it and I'd rather send it to a stitcher than sending it to the thrift store. So that's that. So that's my little bit of haul. And then my two shout outs. Um, one of them, one of these stitchers I've been watching for a little bit for I think a couple months. I don't, I'm not very active in commenting. I'm like the most horrible person when it comes to that. Um, I always like get really excited when people comment on my videos but then like when I watch someone else's video I'm like oh this is so great and then I get distracted and then I forget to comment I'm the worst for that totally the worst um but um the first shout out I have is for James the PH stitcher and if I am correct in saying I think he's from the Philippines 
and he does some really nice full coverage work as well as some mirabilias and he does some owl forest embroidery patterns as well and they're really really nice so if you guys are interested in those types of things head on over and give him a watch and uh, subscribe to his channel he's very uh, he's very nice and um, easy to listen to easy to watch so I think you guys would really enjoy him and the next one is a fairly new youtuber or floss tuber I think she's got maybe four or five videos out now um, and her name is Jamie and her channel name is cross stitch and chill she is also big on the heaven and earth designs and full coverage pieces so if you guys are into full coverage there's another channel for you guys to check out um jamie seems very very nice and easy to listen to as well i really enjoyed looking at her projects she's got so many nice things going on um so if you guys want head on over to her give her some support and subscribe to her channel as well and I think that's going to round it up for me. I just got a message from my boyfriend's daughter that she's on her way home. So that tells me I need to wrap this up and clean up my mess before she does get home. Because um, in about 20 minutes to a half an hour, I think once my boyfriend and his daughter are home from work, we're expecting um, a video call with his mother who lives in Nova Scotia, who I think I've mentioned before. Um, that we're actually going, we've already bought our plane tickets and we're going to be flying out to Nova Scotia in October. So in and around my birthday. So we'll be in Nova Scotia for my birthday and for Thanksgiving as well. So that's kind of really nice. It'll be my first out of province trip. The furthest away from home I've been is Ottawa. So yeah, I, it's going to be really nice. We're flying. It's only good. It's only like a two hour flight, which will be like nothing, right? So just take a book and read or something like that or play on your phone. You'll be fine, right? So it'll be my first plane trip. It'll be my first out of province trip. It's going to be amazing. And we're hoping to have obviously fresh lobster. Um, so I'm looking really forward to that because I haven't had lobster in like forever. <laughs> so that's obviously a couple months away. So it'll, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on that. And, um, yeah, I hope that everyone has a great stitchy week or a couple of weeks, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye!